Imagine a bunch of nerds really passionate about one thing and it's data visualization gathered into a really cool swanky space. That's what we're doing. But they're really cool nerds, so I like them. <laughs> it's definitely like a D3 focus, but uh... It's not 100% D3 all the time. It's not as sort of totally technical. Um, I was actually surprised there was a session this morning that was sort of an introduction to D3. And I don't know why, but I assumed people who were new to D3 wouldn't be here. Because I thought, oh, why would you come spend a whole day geeking out on this stuff? Uh, but it seems like there are a lot of kind of people who are new to sort of the community, and they're really excited. and. Yeah, seems great. So I think the conference is good for showing people things that they could, they, for some reason they weren't finding out on Twitter, on, and then also uh, making friends with other people, uh, so that when I see the tweets now there's like a face behind it. All of the sessions have been in one kind of open giant space, because the last on conference I went to were in individual rooms, which I thought would have worked out pretty well, but. Um, actually, like in this scenario, I've been able to just kind of like free flow between sessions and it, it's a lot easier to do because I can just look over another session and see what they're doing and see if I'm interested and it's been very enjoyable. I like that it's not uncomfortable to leave and go to another session and that was made up clear or clear up front uh, just because, you know, you shouldn't feel like you have to be in, uh, in an area and not leave because it's somehow uh, inappropriate. And I think it's, it's cool that everyone sort of knows that up front. Like it's just, it's, it's, very, uh, it's very relaxed and everyone can kind of do what they want and get value out of it without having to sort of worry about the social implications of, oh, like I, wanna, I don't really want to listen to this. You know, it's, it, it's really all about getting information more quickly into your brain. I like how collaborative it is and kind of how open-ended it is. Um, like it's pretty easy to just sort of flow in between talks though if you're like, you know, a little bit like, I just discovered this new thing and then like, I can just walk in the next room and like, oh my gosh, there's something else that's like I haven't seen before and like, you know, every once in a while there's something you can contribute and that's kind of awesome too. So I think the energy is really amazing. Well, it's my first unconference, uh, and I, I like it. I'm a fan. I like uh, the structure and, or the absence thereof, uh, how things sort of group together and coalesce on their own, I think is beneficial, um, especially because you don't really know sort of the things that are working out in people's heads. And so with a traditional conference, you're making assumptions. What I hoped going in was that I would be exposed to something that I literally had no idea about before. and. That was successful. You have an equal opportunity to learn and teach. You're not, it's not one, as one-sided as the conference is. Nice. What kind of conversations did you have? Like that, 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 that's the measure of a conference, I think. And so far, I've just had like a bunch of really awesome conversations with like people that I knew and met a bunch of people um, that I didn't know and had some really, really good talks. So. I would say, like, if you ever get to a chance to do this, like, certainly, like, right. you should do it. But I've just been like smiling all day, and days like that are very, um, very great. And like, I feel anyone that's passionate uh, about D3 or not even D3, data viz or just like computation uh, will really enjoy this event.